Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is me Mr. P and in this video I'll show you how you can live stream your gameplay from Samsung DeX. Let's begin. To live stream my gameplay from Samsung DeX I will use the Android app called Omelette Arcade. So let's start uh, by just running straight away into this app or running the app. So if I'm going to search for Omelette Arcade inside my app drawer, I'm going to run this app and this is going to be a settings of the app window. So straight away it's being populated with a news feed from other users of the Omelette Arcade and showing all sorts of posts. It could be a video, image, links, etc, etc. So if I'll click on the hamburger menu, this is my account, the Mr. P underscore underscore YT. I'm currently level seven. You gain levels by streaming gameplay into Omelette uh, Arcade uh, own servers, uh, and you can watch the others how they're playing using this app or going to omelette.gg website. In this video, I will show you how I set everything up to stream directly into omelette.gg website or servers, uh, but there is an option for you to set up to stream to Facebook, YouTube or Twitch. So, um, right, everything is, I have an account, like I, like I showed you, I have a couple of levels already, uh, basically uh, reached a couple of levels, I'm level 7. Right, if I click on this plus sign at the, at the bottom in the middle, I'm going to be presented with a couple options here. So, there's an editor, in, currently in beta, this allows you to edit videos, simple editing, uh, is basically just cut, trim and etc. If you will pay for their monthly subscription of their services, you will get all the editor features. I'm gonna basically, I'm using a free account, so um, it's, it's not gonna be a fully featured editor, plus I'm using other apps to edit my videos, not the uh, built-in Omelette Arcade editor. Then you have an option to do a post. Then there's a Minecraft icon, so basically this is just a, directly jumps into my Minecraft game. If I, uh, there is a record, so you can record a gameplay using this um, app, so yes, you can screen recording, using this app and this app allows you to split or uh, adjust the microphone volume and in-game volume uh, independently. So you can say our oh, microphone is higher, in-game more lower, you, basically you got that idea. Then go live, that's the one we're going to do in this video. Then you can create upcoming events and then you click on this, uh, the games button. It will show you all the games that you have currently on your Galaxy device. So if I'm going to click go live, it gives me an option to pick up which game I want to run. I'm going to run Ethereum. So as you can see, Ethereum already starting in the window mode. And now I have an option to select where do I want to stream. I can pick uh, Omelette Arcade owned servers. That's what is enabled at the moment. But then I can log into Facebook and stream to Facebook. I can log into YouTube and stream to YouTube or Twitch. And I can stream to custom RTMP server. But for custom RTMP server to work, I need to become the Omelette Plus uh, member with the monthly subscription. And if you will become a monthly subscriber of the service, you can, multi you can stream to multiple locations at the same time. So I can stream to Twitch and, Fa and YouTube same time, or Twitch and YouTube and Facebook same time, or all of them at the once. I'm going to leave Omelette GG as this one. As you can see at the top it says multi-stream and the RTMP stream plus. So you need to become basically a member. I'm going to click next. Now I need to set up my um, streaming information. Um, I already have a title here, but obviously I can Ethereum uh, on DEX, uh, subscribe or something. And at the end, there is a description already populated with a couple of lines of text and a couple of hashtags. Stream settings, if I click on that, I'll have an option to turn on and off camera. So I'm gonna say front facing camera. My Galaxy Tab S6, if I put my Galaxy Tab S6 in a portrait mode, I can use a front-facing camera in some way as a webcams on the PC gaming. I'm just gonna say uh, off. I don't want any camera. Audio. So as you can see right now, I have two options. Uh, I can adjust microphone or can basically I can turn microphone on and off, but then I can adjust internal audio. When I was using this app, while I was gaining levels, I was using Rode NT USB USB mic connected to my Samsung Deck station. And it worked perfectly. I was able to basically tweak this to have a decent level of voiceover and not so much loud in internal in-game audio. So a couple of tweakings. I, I was like somewhere around 20-25% volume internal audio with the mic turned on. But the mic is turned off. I'm just going to go around 75 to 80 and leave it there. Next is the streaming quality. Right now it's set to 720p. If you'll become a monthly subscriber of the services, you will be able to pick up 1080p, but 720p works fine for me, so I'm gonna leave that. 
Next is a stream on, on notifications only. Turn on. To be honest, what's the, what stream notifications only and what do not disturb mode does when they're both on? I don't really know that yet. I know that uh, if I'm going to turn do not disturb mode on, it's basically going to have all the notifications shut down and it's not going to be basically popping up while I'm streaming my Samsung Deck screen. Um, it's not going to pop up all over the place. Then there is an option to save to gallery. Uh, basically everything you're streaming into whatever is it YouTube, Twitch, Facebook or Omelette or Kids servers. Everything will be saved into your Galaxy gallery for your after the stream. After the stream, you can go and post edit and make it shorter videos and upload to social media. So I'm going to leave that on. And um, to be honest, like I said, I don't really know what these both do, do when they both turn on. I'm just going to leave them off. Let's go back and then under advanced. You can set up all the chat rules, who's moderator, who can post, and basically it's like a super chat kind of things, uh, block links into the ch in chat, you can turn that on, etc. And then stream delay. So you can set up how long the stream is being delayed before the viewers are, are seeing this. This is very useful when you're streaming to Twitch, for example, and you set that to about five minutes or two minutes, and you set a curse word or something. You have that amount of time to kill the stream before your viewers will see it and when basically twitch uh, twitch bots will notice that they will ban you so if you set something like a two minutes you have two minutes window to shut the stream before anyone else will hear you cursing uh, your life away but this is not very practical when you for example doing a live stream and you want to interact with your viewers and you set something like a five minutes delay so by the time your viewers will hear the question that you're asking them five minutes passed so it's not that kind of real interact in, in real um let's say interacting with it with the viewers i'm going to set to 30 seconds i will show you in a second why on the right hand side i can set up overlay i'm gonna don't turn that on but if you go inside you can have a lot of things to pick from and obviously to enable them you need to buy the coins which requires real real life money so i'm just gonna say escape and Turn that off and other options, they're all under Omelette Plus. I don't know what exactly they do. I haven't played with them because they required me to become a member. Right, click next. Gives me a message saying chatting with your viewers will help you to gain more fans. Do you want to turn the mic on? I don't want that um, because I do have a decent mic connected to my Samsung Deck setup. So I'm just streaming as it is. Right now, a standard message pops up. Uh, Omelette RK will access all information that's been displayed on screen, etc. etc. I'm going to say start now and I'm gonna full screen the Ethereum game. So right now I'm live streaming this into omelette.gg website. If I'll click on this bubble that showed up as soon as I start streaming, I have all the options that I just did before starting the stream showing up here. As you can see a couple of times I really try to say word hi. So I'm gonna do the hi again. Here we go, hi uh, three times. Um, under donations, I can see who's donating or who's basically supporting my live stream. I have an option to see how many viewers I have. Heat is basically a, a popularity points you accumulate. The longer you stream, the more you stream, the often you stream, the higher the number. You can share your stream or if I click on the more dots, I have all the other options like change the mic, check notifications, draw on the, on the screen, etc, etc. If I click somewhere outside this, I'm going to go back into the game. So I'm going to click play. So this is loading now into the game. So here we go, I'm playing Ethereum. If I'll quickly jump into a Samsung internet and I'll go to omelette.gg uh, website, log is should automatically log into my account. As you can see, this is me. And this is one of the posts I've done. If I'm going to click watch stream. And right now, as you can see, because I've done 30 seconds delay, that's why I did 30 seconds delay, because I wanted to show you this. That's what others will see. Because if I done did without any delay, it's basically I won't be able to demo this for you. So I can click on this and I go into full screen mode. And here we go. This is me playing and streaming at 720p from my Samsung DeX. And here we go. It's go I'm going into a browser. So it's going to start in looping uh, inception kind of thing. Let's go back here and let's go to do a bit of gameplay. Let's pick this map up, move this bubble somewhere here. And right now it's just loading the game. So Omelette GG gives you enough features for free for you to play around and see if it's useful. Uh, and then if you want to go and make a purchase, I can't remember, I, um, can't remember exactly the pricing. I'll leave on a screen somewhere now the screenshots from the pricing uh, pricings. I know there is a two tiers and three prices per tier. So um, 
just if that's suitable for you, if you like this kind of app, you can go and subscribe. There is um, another app that I want to mention, which is called Streamlabs. I find that app works great. It just they using on the one pricing, which is I think is 17 pounds a month or 19 British pounds a month. Um, and it is too much to pay for Streamlab for an app on Android to be able to stream your games. But this one, I think lowest one is like two pounds something. So it's very, let's say, okay, two pounds something. You pay for first month, you stream around, you, you just see if it's like, do you like it or not? And then it's not a big deal losing uh, or paying three pounds to testing out instead of paying like uh, a bit more. So if we go back to Samsung internet, I'm gonna refresh this and I'm gonna go straight away into my stream. And here we go, this is me streaming the game uh, into our own GG servers. While I was testing this, like I said, uh, my USB mic was working perfectly with the in-game voice for voiceover and everything was working great. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below if there is any other app like this where you can live stream your gameplay to uh, YouTube or Facebook or Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of things. And please join Samsung Dex subreddit group where we're helping each other to make sure that Dex works for us. And pretty much that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.